I want to make it clear that we always appreciate constructive criticism. We have a very warm feeling toward our viewers. We know they are intelligent, discerning, and warm-hearted. I did not. Yes, you did. I did not. I never said I'd close early. Look, nobody's going to want anything this time of night. Somebody could. Okay. You know what I am? Late show at the cabin. <laughs> Jerry, I can't close now. This is the cabin we're talking about, Kathy. But that is the heart of rock and roll. And you want to miss half this show? So you can be here in case some jerk comes out of toilet paper. I like Want some coffee? Nah. We barely bring it me. I'll buy. Cream, no sugar. <laughs> I'll lose my job. Anyway, how do you know I like the cavern? Your eyes. You got rock and roll eyes. What does that mean? Well, they're hot like rock and roll. There's fire inside. Your eyes tell everything about you. Well, I guess nobody's gonna come in now. Well, all right, get your stuff. We're gonna party down tonight. Okay. Okay. section that though? Marshall to OR1. Dr. Marshall to OR1. I do nice work. I'm 
I'm Detective Sergeant Martini. Detective Greeley. How is he? He's stable. He'll be out the rest of tonight, most of tomorrow. I want to move him to the jail ward at County. Forget it. You said he was stable. And immobile. You move me, could kill him. He could throw an embolism. He'd be dead in less than a minute. That would be tragic. When can he be moved? Four days at the earliest. Anything wrong with his arm? No. Cuff him. Is this really necessary? Because if right now he's a prisoner. He's a patient. He's a killer. I want to uniform out here 24 hours till we move him. few hours ago. He should be coming out of it soon. I don't think we've met. I'm Marion Winters. Helen Hatch. You're new? I've been working obstetrics. Baby brigade. Yeah. He killed a cop the other night. That's why there's a guard at the door. I was wondering. Oh, well, another day of fun and games. Oh, the guard's name is Joe something or other. He's got the key to those handcuffs in case you need it. Thanks. It's a cop if you saw me do it. The cop's dead. And I got news for you, my friend. Yeah? I know what you're thinking. You think you're gonna beat this? Uh huh. But you're wrong. There's gonna be no parole after seven, after ten, or twenty. We're going all the way with you. Through that little room where they dropped the pellet in the pan. And before you choke the in my care and I'm not going to have him brutalized. When he's ready to be moved, I'll let you know. Till then, I don't want you near him. Can't wait to hear from you. If they set foot in this room, I don't care what time it is, call me. Yes, doctor. Thanks, Doc. Isn't it, Alan? Everyone around here wants to keep people alive. Those guys want me dead. Why don't you just pull this IV out and make it easy for them? Here we go. No 
away. You have to eat. I can't. You've been through quite an ordeal. You need to keep your strength up. I'm left-handed, Ellen. I'll feed you. Okay. What is this? No one's quite sure. Chinese food's my favorite, Ellen. I'll just 